All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how to overcome the fear of rejection in sales. This is a big problem for a lot of guys in sales, high ticket sales, is that fear of rejection. What if they say no? What if they don't like me? What if they tell me to go screw myself? Whatever it is, there's a lot of fear about what can happen. So today, we're gonna talk about some of the fundamentals on how to truly overcome that fear so that way that's no longer an issue for you. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is knowing your purpose, understanding your why, why you're on the call with them, why you're doing what you do, why you care about your offer. That's gonna be a really important, critical piece of understanding your why that keeps you centered and grounded as to why you're on the phone with them. So we're gonna talk about that. We're also gonna talk about stepping out of your ego. So the ego is really crafty on telling you stories that you're not good enough, this is hard, this is difficult, and when you're listening to your ego, it is going to affect your performance. So we're gonna talk about stepping out of that and looking at it objectively. And then the third thing we're going to talk about is truly looking at the big picture, looking at the big picture of your sales, your performance. And when you look at it objectively from a big picture, all of a sudden hearing a no is not that big of a deal. Okay, so let's start with knowing your purpose. What is your why? So I really want you to ask yourself with whatever offer you are making, what you're selling, why is this important to you? Why do you see value in it? Who does it benefit? Does it benefit you? Who does it benefit the people that you care about? Really walk this through. Write this out. Write this out. If you are selling to make money, what is that doing? Is it providing for your family? Is it fulfilling your dreams? Whatever it is, but also your offer. Who does your offer help? Who does your offer benefit? knowing the purpose behind what you're doing is gonna keep you much more grounded, much more centered, especially when you're making offers and you're asking for a sale. So if someone tells you no, someone tells you to go fly a kite, it is okay because you understand this is the reason why you're doing what you're doing. If they're not interested, they don't want your help, it's okay. You find the next person and you do it all over again. So it's really easy to forget that purpose, forget that why, especially if you've heard no after no after no after no, this rejection after rejection, it's really easy to lose sight of that why. Knowing that why, what keeps you excited, that internal fire, that internal flame with inside you, keeping a close eye on that, is gonna keep you focused, it's gonna keep you more directed on making offers and doing so with confidence. Now, let's talk about stepping out of your ego. We talk about the ego a lot here at Wake Up Wealthy because what we find is your ego screws you over on a daily basis, especially when you start listening to it, that this offer's hard, it's difficult, I, maybe I'm not good enough. All these different stories your ego is creating, and these are, these are lessons that you've probably learned at a very young age. Maybe you faced something difficult when you were younger and all of a sudden your subconscious mind created this story that maybe you're not good enough, you're not cool enough, you're not special enough to do something like this. And so then when you hear no, you take it personally. You take it on you and then you say, okay, they're not saying no to the offer, they're saying no to me because I'm not good enough. Again, this is all ego. Happens every single day to a lot of guys. So do not take this shit personally. Don't take it personally. So it's important to step outside, look at, you know, imagine even in a meditation, imagine floating out of your body, looking at the situation objectively, okay? If someone's telling you no, are they really saying no to you? Could it just be that they're not the right fit for your offer? Could it also be maybe you didn't do a very good job in the sales process and now that's a learning opportunity for you to change, which is a win. So again, step out of your ego. When you're living in your ego, you are setting yourself, setting yourself up for failure. So when you are in your ego, you are setting yourself up for failure. Here's the third thing. Look at the big picture. 
a lot of times you can look at your sales numbers. Let's say you're having a bad day, you're having a bad week, maybe you're even having a bad month. And it's so easy to get fixated on this small time frame, this small period. I've even seen the best salespeople get in ruts at some point for whatever reason. So you gotta look at the big picture. Like I said before, and this is why meditation can be really powerful, is really stepping out of the emotion of what you're facing in that situation, really looking at the situation objectively. So if you are in a rut, okay, you're not hitting the sales you need, which can affect your fear of rejection in sales, look at it objectively, okay? Look at your lead quality. Do you need to change that? Look at the way you're, you're selling. Have, have a coach, have someone review your call. Get some honest feedback. How are you doing? Are you doing a good enough job to close that prospect? But also look at, look at your wins. Look at what you have been doing. There's so many other things to look at objectively on the situation, especially if things are not going well. This is what keeps me from becoming a basket case in sales if I'm having a bad day, if I'm having a bad week, or let's even say I'm having a bad month. Being able to step out of the situation, look at the big picture, look at the wins, look at the situation objectively, really gives me the right perspective that I need. One tool that I use a lot is called the protocol. We use it here at Wake Up Wealthy all the time. And it's all about understanding the emotional state that I'm in, why I'm in that emotional state, and what I need to do to look at the situation objectively so I can make the changes needed. It's these small steps, looking at something objectively, taking the emotion out of it, taking the stories that your ego's telling you, taking that out of it, is gonna give you a lot more clarity. And when you take that emotion out and you look at the mission, you look at your why, you look at the objective, all of a sudden, fear is not an issue for you. So if you have any questions on this, reach out to me on IG at brandon.gif. I am accessible, I'm here to help you. If you want help really overcoming this fear, we can look at some things and I can really help you get to the next level. Hope this is helpful. If you like this video, subscribe, hit like, and we'll see you soon.